Okay, morning stretch. We slide away today. So we're gonna slide away, but first we're gonna squat down. Okay, so what we are going to do in the beginning is gently, slowly, stand slightly wider than shoulder width and then just squat yourselves down, just gradually, gradually get into that squat. And from there, you're gonna put your hands or your fingers down so that you're resting on your hands, taking quite a bit of pressure off your quads, knees, ankles, hips. And you've got quite this equilibrium of static hold. And what I would like you to do is just put your hand on the back of your neck and then rotate. So we're going in what's called a squat rotation. Personally speaking, I had a couple of cracks there. <laughs> so you know that's pretty damn good. So we're gonna hold that, three, two, one. Put the hand down and then with the other hand, we're gonna grab the back of the neck or at least gently have our fingers at the back of the neck and rotate. Rotate all the way around as far as you can further than me and back down again and we're going to rotate again so hands on the back of the uh, neck and rotate and your arm that's on the floor should be holding your leg upright so that the, your leg don't cave in three two one and the hand goes down again and the back of the back of the head gets held with the other hand and three, two, one. And remaining in that squat position, what we're gonna do is put all of our attention on one side and we're gonna lean into one side and you're just gonna transfer the weight. Transfer the weight of your body on your legs. So you're going into a squat with a transfer. And then moving over to the other side, squat with a transfer. And then just go back in the middle and we're going to put one knee down, one knee down and we're going to have the foot directly in front of the knee and we're going to go down and have our chest on our thigh holding our ankle and then moving the knee forward so the ankle stays in one place so your heel is flat holding down your foot just in case it wants to elevate and then coming back. So now we're going into an ankle mobilization, which also will have the opposite effect on the quadricep. So the quadricep on the training leg is now getting stretched and the hip is getting opened at the flexor. And three, two, one, and we're going to change legs. So make sure that the knee is in line with the heel. And we're going to grab the ankle, chest on the thigh, mobilize yourself forward, and mobilize yourself back. Mobilize yourself forward and back. Make sure your back is not completely and utterly arched. Keep it neutral. And three, two, one. And what I would like you to do now is just get on your side. Get on your side. And have your arm out. Have your arm out. Then bring your arm back in to you. Grab hold of your tricep, elbow, and pull it towards you. And now you're getting a shoulder mobilization as well as a rear delt stretch. So this is stretching the rotator cuff. And we're gonna put the arm down. And what I want you to do now with the arm that's up is just 
push it down a bit, push it down a bit, the other way. And we're opening up your shoulder at the front for the rotator cuff. And then right at the bottom, so where your arm is right at the bottom, you're gonna push it to the front. So we're getting all of that rotator cuff getting stretched. And we're gonna mobilize that. So your arm goes back, so you're guiding it with the other hand so that you have that guidance and then just mobilize it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Five, four, three, two, one. And then we're gonna change sides. Change sides. And the arm gets outstretched. Then you bring your arm up, you hold on to the elbow, and then you pull it towards yourself. So you're giving yourself a self hug, opening up your rear delt, trap, and rotator. And after we hold that for five, four, three, two, one, your arm's gonna go down. And again, you're gonna gently push your arm back all the way to the bottom as far as it goes. And then you're gonna grab your, your uh, wrist and then rotate your arm all the way around so you're opening up your rotator cuff. And then again, the same thing. You're gonna go back and another five, four, three, two, one. And this is the point that I'm gonna need a band, but you guys either use a band or your hands. You're gonna grab your, your ankle and then pull your, your leg back so that we go into a quad stretch. Now I can't do that naturally because I've got an injury. So I'm gonna grab the band and from there, my head's gonna rest on my hand and I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pull at my ankle and get a nice quad stretch. And this opens up the front hip flexor as well. Get a good stretch. And your knees should be near enough together. But if they, if they can't, if they separate like that, that's cool. So long as you're getting into that quad stretch and you're not inviting an injury. So we're gonna hold that for five, four, three, two, one, and then we're gonna change sides. And lie on that hand, on that arm. And from there, we're gonna pull. We're gonna pull. So we get a nice quad stretch. And five, four, three, two, one. And we're gonna relax that. And now we're gonna get on our knees. We're gonna get quite wide on our knees, so I'll, I'll, I'll position myself like this. So quite wide on the knee. Put the hand directly in front of you so that it's underneath your chin. And now we are going to go into a frog stretch. So now you sit back as far as you can go, opening up your hips, lower back, nicely curved, natural, neutral spine. Try and sit on that heel. And once you get into that tight seated position, you're going to then elevate yourself up and once again we go into a mobilization where your shoulders now are protruding your fingers and then you lean back so that your shoulders are now behind your wrists in front of your shoulders and then behind your wrist and we're going to mobilize that mobilize that mobilize that Keep on mobilizing. And from that, 
you're going to then bring your hands out as far as they go and you're going to sit back in so we go into a cat stretch we go into a cat stretch and from the count of five four three two one one of your hands is going to go on the back of your neck so that your tricep is on the floor and then join it with the other hand and then just put your forehead on the floor and now we're going into the armless prayer and from the armless prayer one of our arms is going to go right out right out and the other arm is going to thread through thread right through so that we kind of lie on our shoulder and now you're going into the T prayer so the crossed prayer I call it a T because it looks like a T an upside down T and from five four three two one we're going to swap hands so the hand goes directly in front above the head so if you had a plumb line from the head to the hand it will be dead straight and then feed your hand through so you're threading your arm through and then just lie on your shoulder and you've now got the crossed prayer and we're going to hold that crossed prayer for five four three two one and on all fours and we're just going to go into another mobilization where we sink our chest so we're going to scapular mobilization bring your chest up again level with your scapula and then sink it and we're going to mobilize like that so where you sink your chest in your elbows become nice and soft your shoulders then relax back and then you push yourself back up again so that your clavicle is in line so your neck is in line your chin is in line with your shoulders and just get that rhythm get that rhythm of mobilization every time that you go down again and again and again you're going to feel that scapula just get a bit more softer you'll be able to protrude down a little bit more lower and from there if you can then put your hat your foot on the side of your hands so bring your leg up and you've got your hands in front of you that are directly underneath your shoulders and you've got the foot right beside one of the hands your trailing leg is really far back so you're going into like a real deep lunge and you're going to open up your quadricep your hip flexor and on the knee on the leg that is bent you're going to be pushing it away with your arm so that you get a deeper adductor stretch as well push it away with the arm awesome great work great work and from here you're going to release the hand that is closest to the leg and we're going to have it all the way up as we rotate and you are now performing a T hip opener so all kinds of muscles are now going to feel either open or tight especially in the lower part the upper part you're going to feel that tension on the arm that's holding you upright Feel that stretch on the opposing chest, shoulder, opening up your rib cage, your obliques, your lower back, and we're going to put the hand down and swap legs. So the opposing foot now goes on the outside of the opposing hand. Your leg that was bent is now straight, 
And once again, you've got a deep lunge. You've got the arm that's right next to the bent leg, which is pushing away the bent leg while you're keeping a neutral spine. Don't force anything. Just breathe normally, breathe normally, whatever normal that is for you. Through the mouth, through the nose, through the mouth, out the nose. And from here, you're going to release the hand that is closest to the leg and you're going to open up. T hip open up. Again, feeling all sorts of release and tension all together. And we're going to bring the hands back down. And what I'd like you to do in that position is get the foot out and cross it across your body. So it comes a little bit in. So your leg now goes all the way back. So your trailing leg that was back, pull it back a bit more. And your knee is directly in front of you. And this is the pigeon stretch. Or my version of the pigeon stretch. So what you have, what's happening here is the hip is opening up, your glute, your last back is, in, is aligned and it feels kind of weirdly comfortable yet uncomfortable. And we're going to hold that. We're going to hold it for five, right? And then what I would like you to do is we're going to go into breathing. So after five seconds, reset yourself, as in like sit yourself a bit more down, reset, and then we start the breathing. So five, four, three, two, one, and just sit, reset, reset yourself, and then from three, two, one, we take a four second breath in. And then we take a four second breath out. So now we're gonna take a five second breath in. And we're gonna take a five second breath out. And then a six second breath in. And a six second breath out. And now a seven second breath in. And then a seven second breath out. Awesome. And then what we do now is just change legs. So now the pigeon gets changed. Outstretch. Outstretch that trailing leg. Make sure that your knee is in line with your toe but not directly as a 90-90. So you're stretching the outer hip, glute. And once again, I'm gonna do a countdown from five so you can reset. So five, four, three, two, one, and just reset, whatever that resetting feels for you. Reset so that you're comfortable. And we're gonna go into some breathing. So it's four seconds in, Four seconds out. Three, two, one. And four seconds out. Now five seconds in. And five seconds out. Six seconds in. And six seconds out. And final seven seconds in. And seven seconds out. And now just bring that leg back. But keep your hands planted on the floor and lean down so your thighs on the floor and you've got yourself a cobra stretch. 
So with this cobra stretch now, get into a position where you are just set. And we're gonna take some deep breaths in. So deep breath, deep breath out. Deep breath in, 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 deep breath out. And now we're gonna take a deep breath in and hold the breath. Hold the breath. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Expel the breath. And now we take that deep breath in, that deep breath in, gulping down. And we're gonna hold it for another 10. And breath out. And then one more time, deep breath in. And we hold it for 10. And blow the air out. And then get yourselves up. Go into a cat stretch. Open up them lats, the lower back. And then we get on the all fours and then get yourself up. And as you're in this upright now standing, we're gonna go into a body fold, body fold, body fold. So we're gonna go into a back stretch, a stiff legged dead. And just walk with your hands to the point where your heels want to come up and now you're in the downward dog. So to alleviate the pressure on the wrists and the elbows and the shoulders, just concentrate on bringing your heels down. Once you do that, all the pressure from the upper body just transfers to the stretch. And just hold that stretch. Try and get them heels to go flat. And five, four, three, two, one, and we come right back up again, and we go into a big supine stretch, big supine stretch. Breath work, stretch work, slide away. Well done.